Hey, Peter, Peter. Namaste. Good morning, Bachi. Yes. Good morning, kid. वैसे तो टाइम हो गया पर टाइम थिंकिंग के दो मिनट और वेट कर लेते हैं क्या पता कोई आ रहा हो टेंट बिल बिग Yes, yes we do. आज है अच्छा मुझे ग्रुप पे कंफर्म करना था ना आई डेंट कन्फर्म है एंड मैंने वो होमवर्क uh, वाला पैसेज भी अपलोड नहीं किया आई डू दैट इज अ क्लास आई डोंट थिंक और कोई आ सुन में आ गई गुड मॉर्निंग बेटा
ऑल राइट अब अगर कोई आ रहा होगा ठीक है सॉल है अपन चालू करते हैं तो आज का लेटर है आए लेट्स बिगिन आइकनो क्लास शबाश रंगना अरे क्या हो रहा है इेवरेंट यो ठीक है तीर्थ बेटा गुड मॉर्निंग बच्चे नमस्ते इम्ब्यू ठीक है परफेक्टली फाइन इंसेसेंट शबाश बच्चे इंट्रीग इंट्रीग वैसे पता होगा हर्ष बट तब भी लिख ले इंट्रीग नहीं लिखना इंट्रीग नहीं लिखूंगा मैं हर शाइम शो सबको पता होगा इन विंडो नहीं इंसेंजरी इंसोमिया शबाश सिंक्रेसी क्या बात है इनसिसनेस ये चले इन एलेक्टेबल नो आइडिया ये मेरे लिए न्यू टाइल न्यू टाइल इवन ये भी नो आइडिया इनक्रेडुलस गुड इनकॉन्स्टिक्यूस पर आज मैं इस वर्ड को लूंगा नहीं बिकॉज आई थिंक अब तक तो ये सबको याद हो गया होगा एकदम अच्छे से इंट्रेंसिक आई एम श्योर पता होगा सबको स्टिल आई एम राइटिंग इट इंडीजेंट गुड बच्चे किता इनकॉग्निटो इंकोएट इज अ गुड वर्ड इंकोएट इज अ गुड वर्ड बच्चा वील टेक इट टूडे Impertinence, earth, impromptu. ये तो सबको पता होगा but तब भी लिख रहा हूं Impudent and इम इडियोसिंक्रेसी से ही इडियोसिंक्रेटिक बना है तीर्थ सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू टेक इट बिकॉज इडियोसिंक्रेसी कहीं पे तो था कहीं तो लिखा था मैंने कहा लिखा था हाँ ये अभी बेटा नमस्ते Impetuous, good. Impetuous. Impeccable, Swarna, outstanding, बच्चे Impeccable is uh, 
एक्चुअली एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्ड काफी इम्परसेप्टिबल रेट इम ब्रॉडलियो इसका मीनिंग मैं भूल गया इम्प्यूनिटी ये सबको पता होना चाहिए बिकॉज अमेरिकन पॉलिटिक्स में बहुत बात होती है एडियोसिंक्रेसी डन हैप्पी इतनी बार आ गया एडियोसिंक्रेसी क्लास में नाइस इल्यूमिनाटी इवन दा इट्स नॉट एन इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्ड बट आई विल स्टिल राइट इट बिकॉज एज आई मीन आई लाइक इट इम्पीरियस आईकनो क्लास डन बच्चे इलिसिट पता होगा वैसे तो सबको बट तब भी मैं लिख रहा हूं आईरेसिबल चलो ठीक है but once again irascible is one of those words which i expect all of you to you know no by now but when a few classes back i would have considered this to be a difficult or a complicated or a new word but now according to me this should be slipped into uh, atha yoga innocuous shabbas tirtha Innocuous. Super. Innocuous है तो साथ में चलो एक मिलता जुलता वर्ड होता है इनोक्यूलेट तो काफी डिफरेंट होता है we'll take that as well. इनसेशियबल इंटरप्रिट वैसे तो पूरा का पूरा बोर्ड भर गया है एंड आई एम वेरी हैप्पी दैट ओनली द फोर ऑफ यू हैव डन इट गुड जॉब बट थोड़ी सी जगह खाली है लेकिन वी कैन फील दैट इज तो ये भी लिख लेता हूँ बच्चे अभी इंजीनियर इसी से शुरुआत कर लेंगे इंजीनिटी इंसोमिया तीर्था तूने दिया था बच्चे आई डो लेटरस आई डो लेटर मैं इसका मीनिंग गैस कर सकता हूँ टी आर ओ यू एस और टी ई आर ओ यू एस एक बार चेक कर लेते गैस कर सकता हूँ बट आई डो एक वर्ड और दे दू या दो 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 अच्छा एक मैं लिख देता हूं इंसिन्युएशन कोई एक और दे दो लास्ट एंड देन यू विल बिगे इम्ब्रॉकलियो का मीनिंग याद आ गया मुझे इन कैंडेसेंट इंडोक्ट्रिनेशन दोनों ही अच्छे हैं कौन सा लू 
जगह एक के लिखने की है बस 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 काफ़ी इंसेस्टुअस तीन ही अच्छे हैं टू बी ऑनेस्ट वन से गेम इन डॉक्ट्रिनेशन इज डॉक्ट्रिन के ऊपर इन कैंडिसेंट ले लेते हैं तो हम शुरू करेंगे इसके साथ उससे पहले मैं फटाफट इन इलेक्टेबल का मीनिंग चेक कर लूँ बिकॉज द वर्ड साउंड से मिलियर बट मुझे कोई आइडिया भी नहीं इसका क्या रहा ओके ठीक है जी चालू करते हैं हम ओके तो सबसे पहले हमें क्या लेना है इंजीनियस वर्सेस इंजीनियस नन्ना से डिफरेंस है स्पेलिंग वाइज एंड ट्रिक है ये पहचानने की के फगेट द इन forget the in it is playing almost no role here in neither of these two words so the root of this word is giving us genius which is the precise meaning of this word as well while the root of this word has given us genuine which is precisely the meaning of this word so ye jo u aur ye jo i hai That is actually a mark of a huge difference, genius and genuine. So as long as you know the meaning of genius and genuine, you should know the meaning of ingenious and ingenuous. Abir, are you ingenious? Are you ingenuous, or are you both? Albert Einstein was ingenious because he was an extremely extremely intelligent person. No, they can never be used to be. No, they are. These are two different qualities of a person. Ha 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 ha! But yeah, they should be both. You are an intelligent kid, that I know. So whether an whether ingenious or not. I don't know, intelligent for sure. 
And uh, yeah, why not ingenious? Or maybe you are just being humble. So yo, let to be honest, we don't have many ingenious people roaming around out there in our society anymore. Probably there once was a time a different era when when ingenuity as a characteristic was appreciated because uh, yeah, अभी तो गायब सा हो गया जेन्यून क्या वो लोग होते हैं पीपल हु आर सिंसियर हु आर अर्नेस्ट हु आर वेल नेचर्ड हुम यू कैन ट्रस्ट दे आर जेन्यून पीपल एंड जीनियस तो जीनियस होते हैं एवरीबडी नोट सो दीज आर टू इम्पॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स इसीलिए हैं बिकॉज जहाँ वो लिटरेचर का लेवल चेंज हुआ जहाँ तुम यू मूव टूवर्ड्स दो क्लासी लिटरेचर फिलोसफिकल टेक्स्ट और अदर कम्यूनिकेटिव टेक्स्ट जो एलिट लैंग्वेज यूज करते हैं देव इन इंस्टेड ऑफ इंजीनियस एंड जेन्यून यू विल स्टार्ट सींग इंजीनियस एंड इंजीनियस बट नो दे आर नॉट इंटरचेंजेबल दे आर वेरी डिफरेंट बट दे आर बोथ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ दैट वी आर ऑन दीज टू डू वी हैव एनी अदर वर्ड्स सोच लेते हैं For ingenious, I cannot think of it. All right. So, ingenious ka or koi aisa word nahi hai. Let me check as well. Jo koi important sa ho. ठीक है तुम लोगों को पता होगा सो देन सम इंजीनियस वी कैन मूव टू अनदर वर्ल्ड सबको पता होगा एक वर्ड होपफुली द वर्ड डिवाइस वॉट डज इट मीन पायनियर अ पायनियर मे बी एन इंजीनियस पर्सन but uh, an engineer need not be a pioneer a pioneer is someone who who starts something who initiates something like a founder of something so once again two very different words so uh, we can say that uh, there may be a connection between so device is to create something and ingenious people are called engineers because probably they devise a lot of things right a plan is considered to be ingenious someone who is a bell wetter oh my goodness now i am happy but uh, bell wetter to suna hai maine kai baar but mere ko meaning yaad nahi aa raha abhi uh, trail blazing i have no idea to go so you will have to help me there टेलमी द मीनिंग बेल वेदर का मैं खुद चेक करूंगा क्योंकि एज ए सेट आई हैव हर्ड दिस वर्ड क्वाइट अ गुड नंबर ऑफ टाइम ओके तो बेल वेदर यू यू आर राइट यस टी था सो ट्रेल ब्लेजिंग का पिता नो आइडिया बता हाँ जी So an ingenious person is considered to be ingenious because uh, he he devises genius plans. 
a plan can be ingenious a policy can be ingenious basically it's innovative it's intelligent it is new it is yes uh, it, it 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 is it is probably creative so an, a solution can be ingenious so ingenious people devise good plans but i don't want you to use the word devise anymore because devise is a uh, so device bhi acha word hai but i'm sure all of you must be well aware of it. so instead of device let's start using another word called contrive so henceforth we can say that the government has contrived an ingenious plan to tackle the problem of coronavirus unfortunately the plan lacks lacks ingenuity or the plan is not or the intention is not ingenuous enough to deliver uh, a desired outcome so contriving is also this devising basically creating a new solution or idea in your head uh, uh, if you are working on a new study plan for yourself okay not study plan that's a little small thing but if you are create time to think of a new idea to tackle some problem maybe the problem of want or verbal or idea you are contriving a new plan so contrive halaki thoda sa heavy sa word hai thode intricate plans ke liye use hota hai but it is equal to device in uh, all manners to be honest is that clear ingenious ko can we call an ingenious person uh, dexterous dexter to sapne suna hai yahan pe or can we call that person adroit or are these different words स्किल बट इंजीनियस इज योर मेंटल शार्पनेस योर मेंटल इंटेलिजेंस तो थोड़ा सा डिफरेंस है बट दीज आर ऑल्सो योर पॉजिटिव फिजिकल और मेंटल केपेबिलिटीज सो इन अ वे दे आर क्लोज टू इंजीनियस बट डिस्टिंगशन है तुम एल्बर्ट आइंस्टाइन के बारे में बात करोगे या तो प्रॉबली यू वोट यूज द वर्ड एक्सप्रेस और एड्रॉय you will like to choose the word ingenious at the same time when we talk about uh, steve jobs we may use the word ingenious or dexter or adroit or whatever we want to use depending on our knowledge of the word acute can be uh, an ingenious chalo bahut badhiya abhi an ingenious person will definitely have mental acuteness so in a way yo और अब जब हम एक्यूट के ऊपर आए हैं तो इसका ऑपोजिट भी बता दो सो हु विल बी समवन हु लैक्स मेंटल एक्यूटनेस एंड इंस्टेड इज मेंटली व्हाट एक्यूट का उल्टा क्या होता है ऑपोजिट एग्जैक्टली गुड सुरंगा ऑप्टिव शपाश एक और बार गुड 
So we'll come to discerning as well. So acute angle hote hain and then obtuse angle hote hain. So either you three stages you can be just like somewhere in the middle as well. But uh, either you are mentally sharp, you have a mental acuteness. In which case uh, you have really good discerning abilities. Discerning abilities matlab your ability to understand things, ability to comprehend things, ability to look into things, ability to penetrate into things. इसके ऊपर अभी हम और आएंगे इससे हम और एक्सटेंड कर सकते हैं पर अभी हम उस रेक्शन में जाते हैं और अदरवाइज यू मे बी मेंटली ऑप्ट्यूज विच मीन्स यू मे बी मेंटली नॉट शार्प ऑप्ट्यूज एंकल्स आर ब्लैंड दिस इज एन ऑप्ट्यूज एंकल ब्लैंड इट्स नॉट शार्प दिस इज अ दिस इज अ शार्प एंकल सो इफ यू आर ब्लैंड नॉट मेंटली शार्प देन आई एम विद यू probably you are a gosh gosh is not that important a word though uh it's uh, because it's not uh used that much but it's okay still you should know it perfectly fine it's not used that much because it's uh, because of the nature of the word nobody likes to call someone an idiot in literature which is why uh, you don't see words like these the words that we are going to cover now another word can be which is an offensive word which is imbecile these are all uh, fancy words to for uh, our plain and simple insult called idiot instead of calling someone an idiot if you are calling him an imbecile it just sounds fancier but you are basically meaning the same you may call someone mentally obtuse or just obtuse you are calling him indirectly an idiot it's just another way of saying that uh prudent thoda sa alag hai beta swarna but good that you gave us this word iske upar we will go to this abhi jab discerning wali chain pe jayenge na to prudent pe aa jayenge yo these are pejorative terms especially to call someone mentally inept inept is the exact opposite of uh, adroit or uh, you know uh, dexter erudite is also different with your pita once again acha hua bata diya we'll take that as well ab tum mujhe lag raha hai discerning se hum aur kahin pe ja sakte hain we'll have a long discussion i'll take that as well it's a very good word theek hai ji so a mentally inept ka mat adroit is skillfulness if i am calling you an adroit person that means you are skillful same as dexter dexterity is your skillfulness mb dexter says when you are equally skillful at using both your hands so dexter is also skillful inept is someone who is not skillful basically who is without skills so mentally inept means you are obtuse an imbecile a gosh gosh to be honest in se thoda alag hai gosh is not exactly uh, being obtuse gosh is uh, more more uh, towards being uh, socially inept in a way but theek hai bahut close words hain to aisa koi differentiation maintain karne ki zarurat nahi chal jayega so but gosh imbecile inept obtuse all four are four fancy words pejorative terms to uh, you know to call someone an idiot now fatafat se can anybody tell me what are we doing here what can this category these four words be called i am using these four words as you know as some uh, really high quality sophisticated uh nice sounding terms just so that i don't hurt your sentiment by calling you an idiot sharp bash sarangana or some beta these are euphemisms in a way why because idiot is an offensive term to be honest even imbecile is an offensive term so i will i will take this one out even imbecile is an offensive term 
So idiots and imbeciles are offensive terms. But when I call someone obtuse, I am calling him mentally blunt, which is idiot in a way. But it is euphemism because I have made it sound a little good enough, as if it's not as bad as I intend it to be. Though in reality, it is. It, it is no different from idiot. Innocuous alagaya. Innocuous is very very different. Innocuous is a compliment. Can be, not is. Innocuous can be a compliment. So innocuous pe aenge, iske baad innocuous hi le le. Thik hai ji? Abhi hai maathe discerning ke upar and discerning se to abhi bhi achhi khasi change si mil gai. So when you are mentally acute or if you are ingenious and you are capable of devising or contriving a really innovative and uh, outstanding uh, ideas or plans, intricate plans to uh, deal with uh, complex perplexing predicaments. In that case, you are mentally discerning enough, which means your capability to discern things. Discern kya hota? I am saying your capability to mentally discern things is really good. Discern hota hai, your ability to just uh, understand, look into things and understand. Basically, uh, कुछ कुछ लोग होते हैं ना तुम उनको बस प्रॉब्लम मेंशन करो यू जस्ट टेल देम दिस इज द प्रॉब्लम एंड दे विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड इट्स इट्स पास्ट इट्स प्रेजेंट एंड ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स मारिंग इट डिफरेंट एंगल्स फ्रॉम विच इट कैन बी एनालाइज डिफरेंट प्लेयर्स हु मे मेक इट अ लिटिल मोर प्रॉब्लमेटिक दैट इज योर एबिलिटी टू डिस यू आर यू आर एबल टू सी क्लियरली थ्रू थिंग्स That ability is also called uh, perspicacity. ये word uh, philosophy में बहुत use होता है Perspicacity is your mental ability to look through people or things. Usually people के case में use होता है but it is uh, related to things or problems as well once again let's say i meet abir one day after the corona virus pandemic is over and uh, i meet him and uh, after just a half an hour long conversation i understand him completely i understand his not only his ambitions his hobbies his habits no i understand him as a person completely that this would be his taste this would be uh, his weaknesses these are the type of wrong decisions he is going to take in his life in future that is called perspicacity because i am able to i have that mentally mental i have that discerning ability to see through him perspicacity mein jo par aaya hua hai na it actually means true no not shrewdness perspicacity is a compliment with our data shrewdness is a negative term it has a negative connotation perspicaciousness of sorry perspicacity is has a uh, great positive connotation it's an attribute it's a characteristic that ideally everybody should try to inculcate you are not shrewd a perspicacious person shrewdness sort of signifies that i am trying to use my knowledge or my ability in a negative manner perspicacity does not say that perspicacity is just that ability it's like uh, adroitness you just have you are adroit at something whether you use it in a positive or negative manner it's once again your decision you are perspicacious if you are a villain you can use it shrewdly if you are a hero you can use it positively okay so that is discerning ability or perspicacity our uh, uh, you know uh, historically in uh, once again our sages our yogis our uh, wo purane zamane mein jo uh, ekdam bahut pehle wo raja maharajaon ke jo guru hua karte the na mahabharat and ramayan mein uh, 
वाल्मीकि जी एंड विश्वामित्र एंड ऑल दिस दे वर ऑल नोन फॉर देयर परस्पिकैसिटी इज वेल दैट यू गो टू अ योगी और अ गुरु एंड ही विल बी एबल टू जस्ट सी थ्रू यू इन जस्ट वन मीटिंग he would be able to understand what you are and what you are trying to be and where you will fail that is perspicacity savant penge bhi it's different different so the beach mein suranga nahi okay abhi yahan se hum ek से सही में रिप्लेस करना ही पड़ेगा क्यों 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 नहीं प्लीज वट डू आई डू नो what do i do what do i do probably yeah that's what i will do beta a bit it will take a lot of time though chal koi now it has become a literal white board isme bhi koi bura nahi थैंक यू अबीर टेक्नोलॉजी मेक्स एस लिथार्जिक क्लास में मुझे बोर्ड को एक्चुअली डस्टर लेके ऐसे रब करने में बहुत मजा आता था आई यूज टू आई यूज टू लाइक अलॉ तो but here i have become lazy click karke naya page chahiye all right theek hai so we were at perspicacity and from discerningness now we had to move towards uh, prudent then uh, savant and everyday inhi se extend karte hue ja rahe hain savant and everyday are uh, very close to each other very very close to each other prudent is slightly different slightly different than the savant an ingenious person is mentally acute he has a great discerning abilities he might at slightly different is he might or might not have the gift of perspicacity because a perspicacious person he can see through you the word per it actually means through he can see through problems these are the attributes 
does it mean all these people have to be highly knowledgeable and literate not necessarily they may or may not be an ingenious person chances are in today's world at least because of the way we have structured society chances are an ingenious person will also be erudite erudite means someone who is knowledgeable well read erudite aaya erudition se and erudition literally means knowledge so this means if the person is well read or highly knowledgeable similarly a perspicacious person may or may not be highly knowledgeable chances are he would be because uh, gift of perspicacity just using that gift just using that sight of seeing through things and people and understanding them very easily he might become erudite but might so strong connection yes but as a word erudite is very different it means knowledge knowledgeable or well read savant also means exactly the same thing just that savant is a one degree higher above erudite so erudite is just a very highly knowledgeable person someone who holds a phd in something we can call him erudite assuming that the phd is genuine and uh, from a good college so in that case we can call him an erudite because chances are he would have studied a lot read a lot gained a lot of gathered a lot of knowledge in the process can we call that person a savant no savant is a different class altogether savant means you have uh, you have probably read thousands of books there have not been many people in the history of humanity who can be considered savants and savant has a connotation of uh, literal knowledge knowledge is also of different different types na as i said one type of knowledge is uh, even an illiterate person can be knowledgeable like uh, you know uh, based experiential knowledge is there based on your perspicacity uh, your uh, discerning ability you also gather a lot of knowledge which is observational knowledge and then there is knowledge that you gain out of books so savant has that uh, literal sense a very 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 well read person that is a savant so in india we don't meet people who can be considered savant because in general we as a country are notorious for having poor reading habits very very poor reading habits our focus is always on uh, other things in life almost never on uh, books and uh, knowledge gathering so but yeah outside india today even today i'm not sure how many people can qualify to be called savants but it is like uh, that highest degree of word you used to describe a person who who has a lot of lot of lot of lot of, lot of knowledge literal is that clear so there is a there is a difference between that discerning discerning ability that perspicacity which is your ability to do something using that ability if you acquire a lot of knowledge then you can be called erudite or savant depending on how much knowledge you have got okay prudent prudent kaise explain karu yaar prudent and prudent hum lenge to sath mein we will take another word which is prude prudent se hi aaya hai a really amazing contrasting thing about these two words is that while prudent is a really really positive word prude and prude is a negative word if you call someone prudent you are praising that person you are calling him wise 
basically he takes decisions well thought decisions he is not impulsive he is not abhi piche ek word likha hua tha bada acha tha ah ye pata kaun gaya wo word impetuous so the person is not impetuous if he is prudent the person is not impetuous he is not uh, what you call it uh, abhi impulsive he takes decisions or she takes decisions uh, which are well thought well planned and uh, yeah so the person whether he has that perspicacity or discerning ability or mental acuteness or not we don't know that point is uh, the person is uh, wise while making decisions but at the same time if we call someone a prude now it shows that uh, because of his ability to take those uh, you know good decisions because of that person's ability to be wise usme thoda ghamand aa gaya the person has become that uh, he has started considering himself to be uh, a little too sophisticated a little too above other normal people who 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 cannot who cannot make decisions as good as he can so then if we call someone a prude we sh- we we sort of have this connotation that the person's behavior um is a little uh, condescending towards others that is a prude person yes beta suranga a prudent person would never be capricious yo if i say you should be prudent you know uh, uh, once you grow up you should behave like a prudent person or you should be prudent enough to uh, uh, take up uh, what you what you are saying to decide what you want to do in your life i mean to say that uh, you should not make such decisions hastily or impulsively uh but you should uh, be wise enough to take a good call about uh, what you want to become in life or achieve in life so yo yeah, the person is not capricious very 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 good not capricious not impulsive not impetuous capricious yahan pe thoda sa to be honest force fit hai but chalega तो आई होप प्रूडेंट एंड प्रूड के बीच का डिफरेंस इज क्लियर इंपॉर्टेंट है आगे चले फिर नाउ हमारी चेन इज कंप्लीट और डू आई हैव टू इंक्लूड एनी अदर वर्ल्ड आप तो जाएंगे टू बी ऑनेस्ट अभी कुछ दिन पहले ही आई वॉज थिंकिंग अबाउट दीज वर्ड्स एरोडाइट सवान एंड आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू थिंक दिस इससे कनेक्टिंग होते हुए क्या वर्ड है फॉर अ यूट्यूब वीडियो तो वीडियो नेवर मटीरियलाइज सगीशियस ओ माई गुडनेस थैंक यू बच्चा पिता यू नो वट नाउ सिंस लास्ट वन और टू वीक्स यू गाइज आर मेकिंग मी रियलाइज दैट I am not reading enough anymore. Sagacious is an extremely important word, and I don't remember its meaning. It's shame on me. I genuinely am ashamed right now because it's a very, it's a very important word. So let me check its meaning. Yes, beta. Sagacious is exactly the same, and thank you for bringing it here. Uh, sagacious is a uh, uh, way closer to uh, perspicacious. but now i am thinking after this class probably i'll be thinking i need to do something i need to make more time to uh, get back to reading because uh, not knowing uh, not remembering a word as good as sagacious that is a crime for me so yeah, sagacious is also very very important uh, and uh, i mean very highly used word वर्ड हालांकि रूट आई थिंक अलग है बट यू कैन रिमेंबर इट विथ सेज बिकॉज सिमिलर दिखते हैं एटलीस्ट द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट एंड एज आई टोल्ड यू 
sages were always known for their perspicacity in this country even now today whenever you see a sage or a real sadhu or a real yogi if you ever come across his your first impulse will be to ask him ke acha mere bare mein kuch bataiye right that's because you assume this person would be wise enough or perspicacious enough to just read you so well that he would be able to provide you some great insight तो ये बात ले कि बहुत सारे लोग उसको एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड जादू टोनी की तरफ ले गए हैं बट द एक्चुअल रीजन वॉज नॉट बिकॉज सेज इज न्यू एस्ट्रोलॉजी नो इट वॉज बिकॉज सेज इज वेशियस और बिकॉज दे वर पर्सपिकेशियस इनफ टू जस्ट इवेलुएट अ पर्सन पर्सनैलिटी कम्प्लीटली इन अ वेरी शॉर्ट स्पैन ऑफ टाइम and then provide them wonderful insights into their own characters so sages were to be honest like uh, really fast and high quality uh, psychiatrists but uh, then connotation change ho gaya and we started thinking ke nahi they are magicians so uh, thank you bachche बट आई एम जेन्यूनली वंडरिंग अभी इस क्लास के बाद मैं खुद को डांट लगाने वाला हूँ ओके सो सगेशियस इज डन पर्सपिकेशियस इज डन प्रूडेंट इज डन प्रूड इज डन सवान इज डन एरोडाइट इज डन इज वन वर्ड एडिफाई शुड आई टेक इट लीव दैट चलो ले लेते हैं अब यहाँ पे आई गए तो एक नन्ना सा वर्ड है लेट मी कवर दैट वरना दोबारा पता नहीं कभी मौका मिलेगा कि नहीं वी वोट प्रॉबेबली बी सीन इट एडिफाई एडिफाई का जो रूट है द सेम रूट हैज गिवन एस द वर्ड एजुकेट इवन द एडिफाई इज नॉट दैट पॉपुलर अ वर्ड बट तब भी दिख जाता है दिख जाता है टाइम टू टाइम वॉट आई एम trying right now what i am doing right now in this class is edifying you basically imparting education not literally that's not the exact meaning that's a way for me to explain to you edify matlab hota hai kisi ko kuch samjhana enlighten enlighten when i say enlighten me i am saying uh, educate me teach me Enlighten का मतलब क्या है मेंटली प्रॉबेबली राइट ना आई एम इन डार्कनेस यू कम एंड प्रोवाइड मी लाइट ऑफ एजुकेशन तो वेन वेन वी से दैट दैट दिस बुक हैज एनलाइटन मी दैट मीन दिस बुक हैज टॉट मी सो मच दैट आई फील लाइक द डार्कनेस इन माई माइंड हैज बीन टेकन ओवर बायज बीन वाइव डाउट बाय अ लाइट सो दैट इज एनलाइटन सो सिमिलरली एनलाइटन थोड़ा बड़ा टर्म हो गया हेवी टर्म हो गया एडिफाई उसका थोड़ा नन्ना मुन्ना बच्चे वाला टर्म है इट जस्ट मीन्स टू यू नो टीच समन समथिंग सो इफ आई से लेट से तुम मेरे सामने यू आर एक्टिंग अ लिटिल मैं सरकेस्टिकली भी यूज कर सकता हूँ यू आर एक्टिंग अ लिटिल टू स्मार्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यूर आई एम एक्टिंग अ लिटिल टू स्मार्ट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू पोर्ट्रे आई एम ट्राइंग टू पेट नाइज यू एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू पोर्ट्रे एज इफ यू नो नथिंग यूर जॉन स्नो एंड यू कैन कम इंड से ऑल राइट सर ऑल राइट एडिफाई मी which means all right come give me gyan so that is edify phi jahan bhi ye verb ki nishani hoti hai this is a suffix it means to do and edify ka ed is the same thing which is giving us education so uh, you know uh, like petrify means to scare someone then uh, your uh, so whatever phi is to do that so edify is to provide that knowledge knowledge transfer in a way that is edify so edify and enlighten to hopefully all of you would know or was there anybody who did not know the meaning of enlighten i assume or i expect that in this class i know the level of all you guys so you all would ideally should know the meaning of enlighten this might be a new word for you that's it Indoctrinate, bicha, bita, uh, indoctrinate, na. Okay, there is a different difference. But I want you guys to tell me 
what probably could be the difference between indoctrination and edification or enlightenment or enlightening someone what can be the difference and the difference is huge meaning wise they mean almost the same but there is a huge difference still what does this word doctrine what does it mean doctrine 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 bhule don't tell me bachcha party doctrine is very important do word hamesha sath mein bataye honge maine bataye honge kya mujhe pakka hai ki nahi bataye dogma and doctrine yo precisely doctrines are tenets religious tenets or commandments not exactly religious related to any belief system they can be scientific as well or of any particular community or tradition as well but uh, the tenets or commandments or rules followed by any particular belief system or community which are uh, hard and fast in nature basically you cannot break them and there is no logic behind them doctrine is has a has a negative connotation a slight negative connotation because it means that yes there may or may not be a logic behind it they are usually dogmatic in nature just because i said so you believe it don't ask me why don't ask me why god will send us to hell why he has even created a hell even though he is perfect why can he not create a perfect human being or a perfect soul don't ask me that i am telling you god has done it believe it similarly a scientific doctrine would be if there is a rule which has to be just followed people said and you follow it which is to be honest not what science works on but if it is a scientific doctrine then that's the nature of it so when you are indoctrinating someone you are not teaching someone you are brainwashing someone because now you have taken out logic you know from the picture you can take and you have taken it out of the picture so and the moment you remove a logic from the picture immediately education turns into brainwashing so indoctrination is teaching someone but a belief system which is uh, being a uh, hard coded into your mind that's why i said literal meaning wise this is also teaching this is also teaching but this is this is good type of teaching and this is bad type of teaching so there is a huge difference okay तो आज तो टू बी ऑनेस्ट आई थिंक हमने एक ही वर्ड लिया है बट आई एम हैप्पी बिकॉज द डिस्क्रिप्शन वॉज गुड एंड फ्रॉम दैट वन वर्ड वी वर एबल टू ब्रांच आउट इन मल्टीपल डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन एंड प्रॉबेबली वी हैव कवर्ड मोर देन अ डजन रियली गुड वर्ड्स सो ऑलरेडी नाइन फोर्टी हो रहा है लेट मी कवर वन मोर वर्ड इज दैट ऑल राइट जस्ट वन it's a stand alone word it's not there in the list but it's an important one starts with i yaad aa gaya mujhko and uh, i don't want to uh, like miss out this opportunity pata nahi fir random nature of these classes which i like to maintain uska ek nuksan ye hai ki agar sahi word sahi time pe yaad aaye to nikal sakta hai but i like to maintain that i like that uncertainty so abhi aa gaya to ye ek word le lete you all must know the meaning i mean should remember it it should become a part of your active vocabulary for that matter that's how important it is the word is impervious 
एंड इसके लिए मुझे भी एक मिनट का टाइम दो बिकॉज इसकी कोई रूट होती है जो इम्पॉर्टेंट है तो वो मैं ढूंढ लेता हूँ मैं भूल गया हूँ अगर याद आ गई तो शायद कोई अच्छी मेमोरी की मिल जाए किसी को पता है एम्पोवियस का मीनिंग नहीं ठीक है सो so, इसकी जो रूट है बहुत सिंपल सी है मिल गई अभी पर्स पिकेशियस बताया था एंड आई सेट पर्स पिकेशियस के अंदर जो पर आ रहा है दैट लिटरली मीन्स थ्रू द सेम पर इज हेयर द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इज दिस वर्ड इज थ्रू इम्पोवियस मीन्स वेन समथिंग कैन नॉट गेट थ्रू यू If you are impervious to something, that means उसका इम्पैक्ट नहीं होता तुम्हारे ऊपर इफ आई से दैट दिस पर्सन इज इम्पर्वियस टू क्रिटिसिजम इट मीन्स इट डज नॉट मैटर हाउ मेनी पीपल आर क्रिटिसाइजिंग हिम और हाउ हार्श दैट क्रिटिसिजम इज द पर्सन वुड बी लीस्ट इम्पैक्टेड बिकॉज ही इज इम्पर्वियस टू The criticism cannot get through him. If I say that I am impervious to jokes, I am impervious to entertaining movies. That means uh, I don't. I mean, I don't find movies entertaining. You might be enjoying uh, Avengers, but when I watch Avengers, I just feel, man. what because the movie cannot get through me so impervious to usage has ka i am telling this to you because as i said i want all of you to uh, include it in your active vocabulary now that's how important this word is kyunki apne aap mein halaki unique nahi hai there are other words uh, you know uh, jo similar meaning uh, uh, convey kar sakte hain impenetrable literally something that cannot be penetrated but tab bhi impervious jitna popularly wo use nahi hota impermeable is a word literally something that cannot be permeated permeation kya hota hai you know same going through something wo uh, permeability kisi cheez ki jo hoti hai that is uh, its ability to sort of uh, penetrate so impermeable means uh, when something cannot permeate through you but still impermeable is uh, uh, also not as popular as impervious is. so it's not like it's a unique word but it's a very very frequently used word uh, so iska meaning sabko pata hona chahiye i hope meaning clear ho gaya nahi hua hai to puch lo खुद से सेंटेंस बना के देख लो एंड आई कैन से दैट लॉट ऑफ किड्स हु माई टीच आर इम्पर्वियस टू माई ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट्स माई टीचिंग स्टाइल राइट माई टीचिंग स्टाइल इज कंप्लीटली हंड्रेड परसेंट बेस्ड ऑन ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड फीडबैक बट एट द सेम टाइम एटलीस्ट फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स आई टीच एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम they just don't believe it so they never listen to my feedback or observations so they are impervious to them i my observations or my suggestions or my feedback cannot get through them okay iske bahut agar tum isko sochne ke upar aoge you will realize ke iske kitne multiple usages nikal sakte hain someone being impervious to suggestion someone being impervious to something else something being impervious to something else kahin bhi use kar sakte hain koi philosophical sentence bhi bana sakte hain belief is impervious to logic
or anything. Is it cool? अगर ठीक है तो आज के लिए छुट्टी करते हैं बिकॉज हो गया काफ़ी हो गया और बहुत सारे अच्छे अच्छे वर्ड्स दे दिए हैं इन विच केस हम मिलेंगे मंडे को मिलेंगे मंडे आई विल कम जस्ट टू हैव दैट कन्वर्सेशन वाली क्लास इन विच वी विल हैव डिस्कशंस इफ एट ऑल एनी बडी वॉन्ट्स टू हैव अ डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग इज और हेल्थ प्रिपरेशन और एनी थिंग Is that all right? आज दोपहर में भी मिलेंगे दोज ऑफ यू हु आई हैव नो आइडिया कि कोई है या सब लोग गए एन एस यू गाइज के नीवन हेयर दिस इज वन डाउन साइड ऑफ ऑनलाइन टीचिंग ओके बेटा ठीक है सो इन दैट केस क्लास अच्छा समाप्त क्लास ओवर एंड वी विल मीट अगेन आफ्टर समथिंग टाटा बच्चा पार्टी Bye, Peter.